Hey yo there ladies and gentlemen, it's Vela and I would like to welcome you back to Darksiders. Last episode, we ended up defeating the Griva and getting off uh, our pistol from our buddy Ulthane. So yeah, that's, that's fine and dandy, but now uh, we have two more hearts to find, which they said this one is within the arena with sandworms. That just so happened to be infested by demons. So that's going to be fun. Speaking of demons, guess what's always around at all times? That's right. Demons. Because it's like they have nothing better to do in this post-apocalyptic world than hinder my progress. But anyways, that just means that now we can progress further along. And I know I didn't show this backside. Ha, uh, backside. Because it means but this backside back here, but that was because right here is obviously one of these giant crystal things we wouldn't have been able to get past. But guess who can now? As we slaughter demons. There you go. Oh, hey, it's a zombie. Hi, zombie. All right. Break the crystal. Yeah. And now we're introduced to more subway tracks I think it's subway or sewer this place has a lot of sewer systems or subway system and this was a if this is a sewer system it's an above ground sewer system yeah unless it got shifted after the apocalypse maybe who knows who knows what I know is that I gotta go find me a sandworm to kill hey you come here let me stab you yeah! Now we get you. And those guys are going to stay asleep, so that gives us time to do this. Using Chronospheres. Chronospheres hold the power to slow down time. Use Crossblade to activate Chronospheres at distance. Slow time to avoid dangers or gain access to solve puzzles. So yes, we have been given access to the Chronosphere, which... Now we're going to activate that. Turn this. Now that time is slowed down for us. And as you can imagine, since this is here, yep. See, it does that. Hey, this thing will, you know, close really fast on you. I'm sure you have some way to slow it down. Well, it just so happens we do, Sally. It just so happens we do. And Sally has a very weird vo voice. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Hey! That's what I like to see. Oh, shit! Oh, wow. Okay, those, uh... As I stated before, those... What do you want to call it? Those special in incantations or whatever on the wall will be pointed out sooner. Hey, cool. Two cards. Those ones right there. These will come along at a uh, layer point. Also, us going back and breaking all of the blue crystals with the trimmer gauntlets will come around later. Because I realize it, it's mostly at the Temple of Tiamat, or the Cathedral, that m the majority of them are. So, it would just be constant jump cuts upon jump cuts. And I figured, eh, we'll do that whenever we're wrapping up the game. There's still a lot for us to take care of and do, though. Get more souls. And now, jump. I love how War jumps. I don't know if I ever mentioned how, how he scales and jumps across um, leverages and shit. Or leverages. Hey, we got an artifact soldier. But yeah, I love how he jumps. It just looks so big and clunky to see a guy this huge jumping like a monkey. Anyways, we're progressing. Hey, the dry road. And look, it's fancy guys. Too bad they still die in one action. Oh, right there. Although, they have holes in their wings. How can you fly, good sir, with holes in your wings? You have holy wings. But you're a demon. And yet you can fly. You're a triple contradiction. Come here. Come here, damn it. Thank you. Huh. Thank you for coming. 
Don't take that out of context. Ooh. Ah, uh, evil angels! Another contradiction. Once again, they have holy wings, and they're demons, and they, you know, it's just a bad time to be an angel. Come on. There you go. And... Oh, shit. There you go. Aw, I messed up my action grab. It's such a small window to get that, too. I mean, it's very disappointing that I can't get it. And all you really do is chop off their wings, but... Eh. What can you do? Other than be better, obviously. Come on, I'm going to take you to the sky. You're going to die. Yay. Alright, so over here should be a Volgrim shop. Make sure to jump. Make sure to jump. Because if not, it could be a very bad time. A very bad time. Um, and there's nothing else here. Volgrim, what you got for us, buddy? All right, we'll wait. Still waiting. Well. Hey, there he is. The hell kept you. Um, trade in that. What do we want to take? What do we want to take? I will take my time, but we can't take too much time. Because we have people to entertain. Ooh, affliction. We're taking that. And I am pretty powerful. Alright. Yes. Oh, we've already heard that. Well done! He kind of sounds a bit like uh, the Joker from Batman the Animated Series. Well done! Well done! You've given the Griever something to cry about. Maybe it's... Maybe it's not Joker, but eh, something like Joker, maybe a little more Kefka from Final Fantasy VI, which we just finished playing through on uh, our Twitch channel, hashtag shameless promotion, so promotion, haha. -ha. But yeah, so maybe it's a mixture of those two. Another soldier artifact. And once again, another glowy thing we cannot access yet, but what we can access is this, another lifestone shard. Just hiding in the corner. And we are one more away from getting another glorious bar of life. Which we desperately need on Apocalypse Mode because everything wants to kill me. And everything has the necessary tools to just destroy me. Just to give me a massive pounding. And it's... It doesn't... It's not welcome. It's not welcome by any means. Jump over here. No, I didn't jump. No. Ah. Oh, shit. Okay, you did half a bar of health. But I think that's because I jumped into him, maybe? Maybe? I didn't see very well. I was above the bar at the top. Oh, shit. Something's coming! It's coming! Oh, shit. Look at you. Making all your moves telegraph. We're not even going to bother riding you, because it's not worth it. It's not even worth riding you. See? It's just a waste of time and a waste of energy. Though I think we do get more spirits for riding you during the second offering animation. I think. Because that's the one that kills him off and cuts off his head. And what's over here? Nothing. Oh, look! It's you. I wonder what we're going to do with you. Oh. Okay. Okay. I see what we're doing. I see what we're doing. We're going to go around here. That thing's going to pick us up now. And we're going to jump. Yes. I'm the best. Grab you. These ones are already ignited. Alright. Good job. Good job, me. Good job, me. And let's... Wait a second. Hold on. Okay. Whew. I was hoping, like, I think there's a ledge down there, but let's just double check before I fly all the way over there and end up losing my wings. Okay. So, what's over there? Nothing's over there. Oh, can you please go, War? Thank you. 
I very much appreciate it. Running Ninja Wall. That's like Prince of Persia running right there. And I don't know if anyone's ever played the Prince of Persia on GameCube. The, not the original, not the 2DS, like, or not 2DS, 2D uh, side-scroller. But more along the lines of the GameCube version. And if you have, is it just me or is that game tremendously hard for a little kid? Like, just really hard. I could barely get past the uh, opening room because I remember the room that I got stuck in. It, um, well, actually, it was one or two rooms. It was either, yeah, it was the room where, um, you, oh no, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. That's going to end up hitting me, isn't it? It is. It's going to hit me. Okay, let's get back over here. But anyways, it was the room that you have to fight the sand demons or whatever sand spawns inside of their... Inside of a room. Like, a really elegant room. And, like, once you get to a certain point... Please jump. Please jump. No! Why didn't you jump? Oh, well. Hey, thank you for throwing me across. Whew. Thank you. I appreciate that. You saved me from dying. Well, from falling, anyway. Anyways, as I was saying, it was a really elegant room, and you have to jump out of the window to progress on to the next area where there's obviously more enemies waiting for you. But after just getting swarmed, I didn't know what to do. They kept kicking my rear end, and I ran out of stands to return time or reverse time, so it was just kind of, eh, what do I do? I'm bad. Uh, jump over here. Go over here. Yeah. And right there. Now more sewer tunnels. Yada yada. No, because obviously this world loves their sewers and loves their tunnels and everything else. What's up here? Let's just double check. Make sure we don't miss anything. Oh, -hoo, we almost did miss something. Hello there. That slight slowdown. Oh, <gasps> we get a life stone. Yes! Our first life stone crafted through life stone shards. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Well, that's going to help us out a lot because this next section, well, not this next session, but um, the boss that fight that's going to take place here is going to be quite, um, quite a conundrum. It's going to be kind of hard. What would you ask, ask of this humble merchant? merchant. Activate his thing. And... Farewell for now. For now. The Ashlands. And there's one of the worms. I say one of because this isn't the main one. There's a lot of them. And it pretty much gives you this whole... Okay, time to come clean. My biggest fear in the world, besides heights, are sharks. The only reason sharks aren't number one is because I have the option sometimes to not go into the water. Most of the time, when it comes to the mall, I don't have the option to ascend because, you know, girlfriend or family will want to go higher. And I'm like, why? Why? There's nothing up there for us. And it's like, of course, where all the good stuff is. Anyways, I'm rambling. But this gives me a very Jaws-ish paranoia. I wasn't kidding about those worms. And the stitching supposed to be the mean one. Are you are you done interrupting? Anyways, but yeah, like it just invokes that oh god, it's coming fear, and I can't do anything to stop it because I am out of my element. There's gonna be demons down there that are gonna come. Give me this. Hey, look at there. Oh wow. Okay. All of you shall die! Oh, you fell. Well, let's get down here and pick you up. Oh! I missed it. I missed it again. Hey, I got you! Haha! -ha. It's the same animation as, you know, that, but whatever. Dice, slice and dice, slice and dice. There we go. That's nice and rewarding right there. Oh, good. That doesn't look pleasant. Let's run away from that. Oh. Okay. 
Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. No. Oh, God. Blow the horn. Blow the horn. It's their ultimate enemy. I actually didn't know. I think I stated this before, but I didn't know the horn kills them in one hit. I wish I would have. Because that would have helped a lot. I used to just either constantly spam press the uh, quick kill or shoot them, which took forever. Because the pistol, even though it's got a massive range, it's very, very, very weak. Um, oh, that's over there. Okay, I see what we gotta do. Puzzle time! Who loves puzzles? War loves puzzles. He's a very intelligent man. As long as I know what I'm doing, he is. Anyways. Um, okay, cool. These blades have stopped. They are not going. So you can imagine, in a later... In probably later sections of this area, these blades are going. And they are a pain in the rear. Because they cheat! Anyways, activate you. Make that descend. And... I think... I think, anyway, we can... Oh, no, that stopped. Ooh! It's a thingy here. I think we weren't supposed to fall down here. Yeah, we weren't supposed to fall down there. Oh, no! Wait! Maybe there's another way to ascend. Okay. Ooh, souls. Yes, please. Get out of my way. No! Don't give me that. I want this. Whatever. I guess we'll break the stuff before we leave. Kind of just show our traditional landmark that war was here. <sighs> That's war's, like, calling card. Broken boxes. Kind of like how Lynx is, um, broken pots. Okay. Oh. Throw it. Okay. Run. And also, you cannot dash through the sand. And another thing that I learned is do not jump in the sand because whenever you land, you stop. For some ungodly reason, you stop your momentum. Look at that big old thing. And look at that animation of it just constantly growing shells. Fluid. Really fluid. Okay. So, where's everything at? Aha! Demons! Oh, we don't want that. Oh, hey, there's a sandworm. It's a shame we missed it. Kill you. Well, can you please kill you? Kill you. And now you're just left all alone, aren't you? Aw. I was going to try and throw him off the edge and let the sandworm eat him, but... Oh, well. Wait a second. Am I going the right way? Am I going the right way? I think I am. Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay, so I have to be going the right way. I was making sure there wasn't a path that led me off in the direction of the main map. Whoa! Rude! That is so rude, sir. Very rude. Oh yeah, no, I remember what else, what else these remind me of. They reminded me of something else, like in the back of my mind, it was like, do they really remind me of Shaw? Of Jaws? No, they remind me of Tremors. Tremors was it. I was mistaken, Tremors. And if you know that movie as a kid, that thing terrifies you. Well, at least it did for me. Which, my brother loves the movie because, you know, he's a big old Kevin Bacon fan, so. Eh. But still, that's a terrifying movie. At least for me, anyway. But that's also because I'm a big old wuss whenever it comes to horror and thriller shit. There we go. Alright. Well, it seems like we're going to have some more puzzles and some more fun in the desert to explore. And I hope you're ready to explore it with me tomorrow as we continue to progress further and further into this ungodly area. But, till then, I hope you have a wonderful day and a great evening. This has been Valen. See ya.